Hey, I'm Matt from DIY Electronics and today we're unboxing and playing with the Creality CRX. Okay, so let's get started. Guys, really? <laughs> so, in the box, you get two rolls of filament, red and yellow, in Pick and Pay No Name brand. Uh, these are both full 1kg packs instead of the little sample packs you often get. You get a cardboard box. <laughs> This is really well packed. Success! Then you have a super important little manual that you should totally read right the way through. And finally you have a bed uh, on the base with the electronics and the screen on the front and the power supply. You get a uh, normal kettle plug to power it, USB cable to connect it to your computer, super cool little clippers, a bunch of tools, SD card, which is connected to a little USB thing so you don't need an SD card reader, extra nozzles and Bowden connectors, super cool little spiky thing, which I guess is for either cleaning the nozzle or doing heroin, the screws that you'll need to screw it all together, and then you get some other parts for putting the filament spools on the top of the printer. They give you a little spatula, which has very sharp corners, extra Bowden tubes, and finally, a little test print. So now, let's just take a look at the the X gantry, you want to make sure that the extruder can move left and right properly. So just slide that around and make sure that it's smooth. And then on each side, on the Z axis, you want to make sure that these little wheels can just sort of roughly turn and not free spin. You want them to have a bit of tension uh, against these bars here. So there's two on the outside there. Then if you flip it around, there's one more inside here. So just check that there, there, and inside. Then let's take a look at this base plate. So in shipping, things happen. Uh, this particular unit, two of these little adjuster wheels for the bed leveling, three of these little adjuster wheels for the bed leveling uh, actually fell off. So you can just push them lightly under and screw them in. Once those are all tight, just feel the actual bed and sort of wiggle it around and make sure that it's sort of stable. It can move forward and back obviously, but just make sure that the whole thing isn't wobbly. If it is, there's little eccentric nuts under each corner, uh, sort of a, a little bit in, and those connect to the wheels that run along here. So if it is wobbly, adjust the little eccentric nuts and just make them sort of tight on each side so that the whole bed smoothly moves backwards and forwards like this. So now we've got to connect the X gantry to the main base. That's gonna fit in sort of there. There's little slots over here. You can leave it unscrewed, but your printer will never work. To connect the gantry to the base, you're looking for these screws and these little washers. And then just stick the washer on the screw and put it through the hole to connect the frame.
You want to make them quite tight, but you don't want to strip anything. So make it about as tight as that. And we're ready to plug in the motors. On the left side of the printer, there's a little hole and this wire comes out. Uh, it's got three wires inside it. You just take that and you put it into the little plug here. Still on the left side of the printer, we now need to take this wire and we need to push it into the motor there. And then exactly the same thing on the right side of the printer. After plugging in the motor wires, all you need to do is attach the ribbon cable. So the ribbon cable goes into here. There are little tabs that you just need to pull out and then the ribbon cable will click in. So you take the little pop, you put it through the hole, then you take one of the rings, and you just screw that in. You take the other ring and you screw it into the other side. Then you take two screws and two of the V-slot nuts. Put the nuts into the V-slot. Put the screws in the holes and screw it in. Trim the end of the plastic off so that it's easier to feed in. Then feed it into the extruder and push it all the way down the Bowden tube until about a centimeter from the white splitter. Do this on both sides. With the entire printer set up, there's one more thing we need to do before we can turn it on. With the printer plugged in and set up, we can now turn her on. You might happen to notice that it's in Chinese by default. That's easy to fix. Just click the settings button, the bottom middle button, and then select English. And when we go back, we can now read things. We're now going to preheat the printer and then do bed leveling. While it heats up, screw in all the sides to make sure that it doesn't touch the nozzle anywhere. Once it's heated, remove any plastic that's come out of the nozzle and then go into the menu and select leveling. On the screen there are five points and you can click each point to send the nozzle there and test that point. Put a piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed at each point and adjust the knob so that it's just lightly gripping the paper. Repeat this two or three times all around the bed because each side will affect the other side. Now we just need a file to print. So stick the SD card that came with the printer into the little USB stick that came with it and into your computer. Then go into it and you'll see this. Now the printer doesn't actually see G-code files that aren't in the root of the SD card. So we just need to move them there. So if you go into CIX and then this fourth folder called model or modle, then STL file, there's a bunch of different examples here. So we're just going to print the cube and you'll see two STLs if you want to actually open the model yourself and then a G code file. So just copy that, go back to the roots and paste it there. We're ready to print. I'm excited. Just take your little SD card and push it into the side of the printer. Then on the screen, you just need to hit SD card, select the model that you want to print, and then on the right, click print. So we're now up to temperature and it's first going to home the X and the Y. Now it's homing the Z axis and we're going to get our first print. It's been about 20, 30 minutes and it's going well. But people always ask me, they say, Matt, 
how do I get my prints to finish faster? And it's actually a really easy trick. So you just take your hand and very carefully go like this. And we're done. Look at that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna do a part two soon that will be printing a whole bunch of different things, doing calibration, using Cura to do your own models, and just basically going more into detail about the printer. Thanks for watching.